Hi, this is Julie Jara from New Frequency Healing and Animal Mentor Healing. Up you get. This is Ruby. Ruby has just come back from the dead. Well, almost. Um, and I thought the only way I could get her up here to show you is to have some chicken. She's a real chicken fiend. And to tell you her story. So Ruby is 11 years old. Come on up. Come on, Ruby. Get up here. Chicken. Yeah. She's 11 years old. She's a rescue kitty and her, her owner uh, passed on. And so my mother got her. It's my mother's cat, not actually my cat. And about a week ago, two weeks ago, Ruby got really sick. She started vomiting everywhere. And then she laid down in her bed, which is outside. She's got a day bed outside. And here you go, there's some more. She laid down and she stopped eating. She stopped drinking. She was just looking not good. And after a day or two, she was laying like stretched out like this, tail hanging out and her eyes had glazed over. So we thought she was passing on and each morning I would go and look at her and think, I think she's gone, except she just had a little bit of breath, just a little movement here up and down. And I thought, no, she's still breathing. Um, in case you're wondering too, we had taken her to a vet a little while ago um, for testing and they weren't able to help with anything. So we just sort of thought, well, hey, Ruby, come and show your beautiful little face. Oops, come here. Come here. This is her little face. You can see how little she is. There was nothing the vet could do. And she's not a real cuddly cat. That's why I can't sit and cuddle her, hey? She just wants to move on now um, out and find more food. Um, so we let her be couple of times she did actually manage to get out of bed and took a few steps and just stood and she was just there she goes looking around and you could tell she didn't know where she was she didn't know what to do and then she went back to her bed um so we made arrangements for what we were going to do my mother was so upset she was crying she was very upset the cat was about to go but the cat lost so much weight. It probably weighed about 2.5 kilos. She normally weighs about, well, she was 3.5, maybe 4 kilos. So um, the next day, so it was about four days of this, expecting to get up and find her past. She's up. She's hungry. <laughs> now, throughout that time, I would visit her every so often and do a little bit of healing. Not much, just just work with the healing frequencies, um, stroke her, do it from a, a little bit of a distance. Animals like being touched. She was sort of like unconscious, so it didn't seem to make much difference. I just did a little bit of work with her. So did my mother because, you know, Healing is like the love too, and my mother was had become in the last year so attached to the little kitty. Um, so she did a little bit too, and then suddenly she's up, she's hungry. You, this is nothing compared to what she was. She actually started taking food off the dog. Now, until now, that, no, that's never happened. Um, and for about, oh, about five days, she was having six to eight meals a day because she was so hungry, small meals. Now she's getting back into a little bit of balance. So I just thought, isn't it amazing how animals, how it shows that we can do it too, I, I feel. Animals can recover. They know what to do. They know to stop eating. And, you know, there's a very big philosophy for people that when you're not well, fasting for three days, four days as a minimum is a really good way to get your body back into balance. Um, and animals do it naturally. So she did this. She is now 
she has not vomited she's putting on weight you can see her eye, like her eyes are sparkly her hair's good um it it's it's like a miracle it's like wow what we knew that it she looked um that way and now she's a normal cat um so she's 11 I'm not sure how many I know she's used up two lives because I know I've already done a video previously where she went through something like this but not not this much so I don't know how many lives has she got left <laughs> probably lots I'd say <laughs> okay if you want to know anything about animal healing if you want to know how to help your own animals just let me know I'm happy to talk to you okay bye